Hello there, I'm Black Bright, back on your screens again. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, and to my subscribers, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for your comments, which are inspiring. They always kind of propel me to do another video. And thanks for those who gave me the symptoms. Well, at least showed me the link to the symptoms of Omicron. Um, if it's the first time you're passing by, please click the like button and subscribe and share. Um, it does help for the channel to get out there. Now, um, what did I want to talk about today? Well, you know me, I've got to get me start stirring it a little bit. Well, I try not to, but just a few of my observations. So we're talking about the Omicron, the symptoms, because I didn't know what the symptoms were before. And um, apparently there's a South African doctor who first identified the Omicron variant that is spreading in the country and abroad and has described the symptoms as she observed them in her patients, stating that the strain is so far producing very, very mild effects on them. So if that's the case, why is the drama? Is the drama because the sources come from South Africa? Or is the drama to preempt anything more serious from happening? Is this a proactive measure to... Um, you know, to kind of get the ball rolling and let people feel as though, OK, at the moment there's mild symptoms. Or is this about letting us know that there's going to be more and more variants? And in which case, what are they going to do about it? So Wuhan, remember Wuhan in China, they got a severe telling off for withholding the fact that the virus had been released in their country a couple of months back. Now, so South Africa did the correct thing, within a couple of days, they identified a different strain from the Delta variant and decided to report it to the diseases committee or whoever the infectious disease is. So um, they've done the right thing. Um, as far as they're concerned, um, there's only a couple of cases and they're quite mild. But all of a sudden, the whole of Africa has been shut down because of a couple of mild cases. Now, what is fascinating is that the, the um, symptoms are tiredness. Now, how would we know whether or not we are tired from overwork, from going to the gym, from not being able to sleep, from kidney disease, from, you know, anemia? There's lots of things that make people tired. Even perimenopausal women or menopausal women or postmenopausal post women, pregnant women, men who are going through the menopause, men who are tired of listening to their wives nag in their ears all night. There's lots of things that can make you tired. So what a precarious um, reason to say that this is a variant. I mean, it seems like it's so vague. It can affect everyone. So is this, a, is this a ploy for everyone to start thinking, oh, I feel tired. Have I got Omicron? I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. I'd understand if they was talking about your face swelled, your tongue swelled, and like with uh, coronavirus, the symptoms were so distinct. Loss of taste, you know, coughing, temperature. But tiredness, I mean, give us a break. I mean, what is this really about? Really? I mean, how can you say tiredness is a severe form, a, a severe symptoms of the Omicron? I can understand if you're a surgeon or if you um, drive a bus for a living or you drive, drive for a living. Or if you've got a responsible job that requires alertness. And attentiveness. I can understand, you know, that being severe and you have to stay home. It's like when you take some medications. I mean, medications can cause tiredness. A lot of them on the um, on the label, it says a drowsiness. You must not drive. You must not do that. So how do you know whether or not it's not the medication you're taking that's making you tired? I mean, this is the most bizarre symptom I've ever heard. I mean, we get tired just by watching it on TV. 
So it's beyond me. I mean, are they deliberately trying to provoke a reaction from us? That is my ploy. And I'm thinking to myself, peeps, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. It's a bloody ploy. It has to be a ploy to get us all going, to get us all angry, to get us all, you know, frustrated and, oh, my God, don't fall for it. It's a load of, honestly, if you're tired, don't jump to the conclusion, oh, it's because I've got Omicron. Start assessing whether or not you've changed your medication. You know, do you, do you suffer from... Um, do you have a kidney um, problem, severe chronic kidney disease or something? You know, there's going to be a lot of things that can make you tired. Over the last couple of nights, I haven't been going to fall in asleep until about two o'clock in the morning. So I wake up in the morning and I'm tired. Am I going to think, oh, I've got Omicron? No. So you've got to be very, very careful not to become paranoid. You know. Honestly, I don't know how they get away with it. This kind of information shouldn't even be released. I mean, why do they release it? You know, somebody put in my text, you know, is it, why am I going on about black people? If, if the media didn't keep targeting black people and highlighting, getting away from the Omicron for now, but if they didn't keep telling us, because she was referring to um, the video I did about um, Harry and Meghan's child. Now, if the video didn't tell us about that and give us all the hype about um, all the um, underlying innuendos about it, how would I know to talk about it? So what people have to understand is when black people talk about stuff, it's because it's been put in our path. And we have to be careful not to suck in everything that comes into our paths. You know, like I said, you know, the video I showed yesterday about um, Africa being um, isolated. You know, they're shutting down all the entrances to the country. Now, they actually want the vaccine. They're actually pleading for the vaccine. So you can't say, oh, black people are afraid of taking the vaccine because she proved to us that they want it. They don't want to be isolated. They want to be protected. So, you know, you have to get your, um, when you're throwing daggers at me, try to get your facts straight or don't just go on the title of my videos. Listen to the videos and see what I'm saying because I'm definitely not one of those Negroes that's got a chip on my shoulder. Okay? Now, back to Omicron. Um, so, Dr. Angelique, Cote Z, I hope I pronounced that correctly, told the BBC News that she had first noticed the symptoms in a young male patient around the age of 30, who she normally knew to be very healthy. He was extremely tired, as well as having body aches and pain with a bit of a headache and a scratchy rather than a sore throat. There was no cough, no loss of smell, and no loss of taste. So from that, she's deduced that this is another variant. You know, it's amazing how they, they make their deductions, to be honest. Couldn't he just have the flu? I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm sure us lay people, we'd be better at this than them, the professionals. Because at least we use our common sense and we don't, don't jump to conclusions at every little thing. So what are the symptoms of the Omicron variant? Coat Z tested the man for COVID-19 and found him to be positive. Then tested his family and found them all to have the virus. So they, was definitely, um, they definitely had COVID-19. Despite showing very, very, very mild symptoms... It's emphasised. Very, very, very mild symptoms. But I thought COVID-19 qu was quite severe, the symptoms for COVID-19. I thought when you had COVID-19 and you tested positive, that the symptoms were quite severe. Probably wrong again. Let me know in the comments. 
You know me. I only take bits and pieces. I'm not a researcher. I'm not a health practitioner. I'm not an immigration lawyer. I just take bits and I give my little two cents worth on it. So for the rest of the day, people kept presenting at her surgery with similar symptoms and all tested positive. So what my point is, well, I can understand why it would be another strain of the variant. Because if they all tested positive for COVID-19, even though they were mild symptoms and they have these few, these couple of symptoms added on, I can understand why that would be a variant. So what, but what they should be saying, not that the symptoms are tiredness, what they should be saying is that you have the COVID symptoms plus tiredness and plus the scratchy throat. That's what they should be saying. So it's compounding the coronavirus or the COVID-19 symptoms. But they're making it seem as though it's uh, in isolation. You just have to be tired and have some headaches. And that means you've got Omicron. But from what I'm reading here, it's, uh, it's an accumulation of symptoms that make it another variant, i.e. the Omicron. So noticing the symptoms seemed to differ from the Delta variant, she alerted the country's vaccines committee. So they, they, of, they obviously have the Delta variant. Because how would she know they were different from the Delta variant? <sighs> anyway, I'm just going to read it. I'm not going to think. Noticing that the symptoms seemed to differ from the Delta variant, she alerted the country's vaccines committee, of which she is a member. They announced their resultant discovery of the Omicron variant a few days later. So, like I said, the majority of us will experience tiredness simply by watching the TV and allowing it to affect our sleep. But anyway, since the symptoms are so vague, it will be difficult to deduce whether we have contracted Omicron or whether our symptoms are as a result of our lifestyle or other potential contributory factors such as overwork, stress, menopause, depression, anemia, liver failure, kidney disease, insomnia, medication. And it's not, and remember, it does look as though it's... Uh, it's cumulative. It does seem to me, after reading this again, that you have COVID-19, you're po tested positive for COVID-19, and the tiredness, the extreme tiredness, is an additional, is additional trait or additional um, symptom, along with the headaches and the scratchy throat, not sore throat. So... I guess if you test positive for COVID-19 and then you do find that you're really tired on top of it, that would kind of indicate that you have the Omicron variant, I would think. Don't take my word for it. I'm not a health professional. But I just thought I'd share my, my views. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.